We're going to Cozumel, virtually. Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Olivia. I'm a professional scuba diver and this is Fully Submerged. So I've been going through some of my old footage and organizing my pictures and videos and I thought it might be fun since I can't currently travel and I don't know when I'm going to be able to travel again. Um, so I thought I would do my best to take the footage that I do have and compile it into a video for you guys. It's not exactly the way I would like to make travel videos going forward. I want it to be more informative than I'm probably going to be able to give you in this video. Um, but I'm gonna do my best to leave like the resort, um, what dive shop I dove with, um, and just any information like that down in the description below. Nonetheless, it's a pretty good representation of a lot of the things you're going to get to see in Cozumel. Um, I didn't go on a single dive site in Cozumel that wasn't beautiful. So if you're like, which one should I go to? Literally take your pick. <laughs> like, Cozumel has some amazing diving and um, it's one of the few places that is open for tourism right now. So I highly recommend it if you're able to go traveling. Um, that's a great place to go. It's amazing diving and it's usually pretty affordable. So this is all footage I took about three years ago. Keep that in mind. I was doing my dive master training on this trip. I was there for about two weeks. Um, my first dive in Cosmo was only my second ocean dive ever. Um, I had quite a bit of freshwater diving under my belt before this. I remember I hit my 50th dive on week one, I think, and then got my 60th by the end of week two. So a lot of diving. But with all that said, um, why don't we just take on off? Let's go.
murder all maracas. <laughs>